people ask, were you afraid during launch? Well, not, not afraid to the point where it's going to interfere with what you're doing because you've trained very hard for this, you have a job to do, you're part of the systems, you're part of the reporting, and you're very busy. Roger, the clock is operating. We're underway. Loud and clear. In about five and a half minutes from launch, you turn the corner up here and are accelerating into orbital speed, and that gets you up to about 17,500 miles an hour which figures out to be just under five miles a second, so people understand that uh, a little bit better. You just have enough fuel with the weight to get, just, just to barely get you into orbit. So that's a, uh, uh, I think when I got into orbit, I think they calculated later, there was something like one and three quarter seconds of fuel remaining at that point. At the end of the first orbit, one of the little uh, thrusters stuck and was wasting fuel. And if that continued, I was going to have to come back in again, you know, making a, make a re-entry and cut the mission short. So what I did was just I cut all the automatic systems off and went to manual control uh, and controlled it manually from then on during the rest of the flight. Now that's something we had wanted to do later in the flight anyway to prove that you could do that. Near the end of the flight we had uh, Two ground stations received signals from the spacecraft that the heat shield was loose, that the metal latches that held the heat shield on had already pulled, and so the heat, once the retro pack, which sat in the middle of the heat shield, once it was fired and thrown away, the heat shield would be free to move around and the whole thing would probably all burn up on re entry. So we decided to leave that retro pack in place uh, after it was used, not throw it away. The idea that it might help hold the heat shield in place, and that's the kind of re-entry I made then with that in place. And so, when I would look up through the little window over my head during re-entry at the high heat of re-entry, there were chunks of that retro pack burning off and coming back by the window. Uh, what's your general condition? You feeling pretty well? My condition is good, but that was a real fireball, boy. And uh, that was very spectacular from where I sat, and I. Obviously, the, the burning was all the retro bag. It wasn't part of the heat shield, uh, which I was concerned about at the time. You go around the Earth, it takes about an hour and a half, an hour and 29 minutes to go around the Earth. So you're doing a, a day and 45 minutes, a night and 45 minutes. And that's what the flight was planned for. It was planned to be a three-orbit flight. 